something you heard, maybe something you smelt even. Again, that breeze I mentioned just picking up slightly. Maybe there's the smell of rain on it. Oh, and you must enjoy this as well. This is such a nice temperature. It's nice and cool. Obviously, he'll be warm. Rain like that around your neck. You enjoy cool weather like this. You can imagine when there's cubs around, why cubs are fascinated by males. Lion cubs typically, in the first couple of weeks, even up to as low as six, eight weeks, they don't get introduced back into the pride. The female keeps them away from the pride just to attract less attention. Obviously a lot of lions, with everything they eat and do, they attract attention from other predators. So by the lioness keeping them away, she can hide them better. But when they're about anything from four or five weeks up to eight, nine weeks old, they get introduced back to the pride. Now keep in mind, up to then, those hubs have only seen lionesses. So you can imagine they arrive at a group of other lions. Suddenly there's all these other lions around, and then they see this. Imagine you're a little lion, busy discovering your world and learning what everything's about, and, and already feeling like a lion, even though you might only be a bit bigger than a large house cat. And then you see this beautiful big cat, many, many times larger than you, Max, you know, massive, beautiful big mane. Especially if you see a male lion the first time like this, it looks all cuddly almost. And there is a great fascination that uh, young lion cubs have for, for adult males. Quite soon, hopefully, within the next few months, we start seeing little baby mapojos running around. So that would be very exciting. Good idea. Yeah, can you hear a good yarn? Um, just a question from Sharon. She wants to know, is it unusual for that lion to be alone? Yeah, good point, Sharon. Um, no, not really. With lion coalitions, uh, put it this way, it's more, it's, it's much more unusual to have a large coalition like we have here with the Mapojos than to see a male by themselves. Even in typical coalitions where there's only two males, you will still fairly often find one male somewhere else. One might be heading one way and one another way while they roaring and scent marking. But then they regroup obviously. These guys can communicate over large distances. It depends a lot on your on your conditions, the rain, temperature, weather, all that kind of stuff can influence the sound, but they can communicate over three, four, five kilometers easily, up to ten, eleven kilometers. So uh, even though he's by himself at the moment, he's not really alone. he knows where the other mapos are. But no, it's, 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 it's normal to see males on their own. It's as, as it's normal also to see them, obviously, with other males in the coalition. Oh, looks so happy. Content lion. His belly also looks relatively full. It doesn't look like he's gorged, but it looks like they've probably eaten somewhere in the last three or four days. So all in all, life is pretty good for these guys. Interesting, can still hear quite a lot of crickets around us as well. Again, this bit of rain we had yesterday afternoon and last night would certainly pick up insects in general. Activity. And it's also because it's relatively overcast and dark, and that's just obviously keeping the insects noisy for a bit longer.
it seems uh, Signal is just playing around with us a bit, so we're going to just move slightly. Hopefully that helps. Just go a few meters forward. <laughs> Scratching his eye bank there. Let's hope that's good. Mr. Talk to your brothers. Roar a bit. Well, I must say, looking at him at the moment, I don't think he's going to be doing much this morning. He looks like he's done what he had to do last night and he's happy to just enjoy this cool weather this morning. But I'm sure you don't mind. We're going to sit here for a while. It might be a bit quiet. I'll say a few things. If you have some questions regarding lions, this is a good time to send them through. I'm just going to take some time with him. There's no rush. And after all, what else is there that we have to go and do? All we have to do is enjoy the space out here. And we can certainly do that nicely with the lion lying right next to us. Except if it starts raining, which has just started keep an eye on it but I think this is going to get worse quite quickly so maybe I should have been touching more wood when I said what I just said Well, guys, there's rain coming, and it's coming fast. We're going to say a very, very quick goodbye. We're going to have to pack things up, cover up, and run for home. It's been a fantastic morning. We're going to have one quick look at this lion again. Thank you for joining us here at Wild Earth Juma. Alex, Peter, Jan in the Life Control Center, and uh, magnificent Mapopo lion over there. Quick last look. We're going to have to run.